still morning. lintels are drying nicely but while these lintels are uh, drying uh, maybe it's best to uh, attack another part of the mini rebuild today oh. I'm trying to use my washing machine but I didn't connect the water yeah, if you're rebuilding and living in the same place it's kind of improvising, right? I wonder how long my washing machine is going to take it outside. Go, mate! So, where was I? Ah, I take another part of the mini rebuild today. Welcome, everybody, to day five of the mini rebuild I don't think I really showed you this yet so I poured a, a lot less thick concrete um, cement it came out pretty nice so this we're gonna render off on this side and also on the other side uh, you saw I cut open uh, this part, so we're going to put in the lintel later, like level. And then we still have to uh, board up like the sides here. And then uh, cement that off. But um, yeah, we need the lintels to continue with that. So. Um, Today I was thinking, maybe we do a assessment of the roof and see how far we can prepare that and see what needs to be done. It's been raining so the ladder should have only gotten more solid. down there for a sec. I didn't even bring my coffee. Jeez. What's wrong with me? So as I told you last time, yeah, uh, the rafters, these things, they are in pretty good condition. Although Although you need to be careful with the, when you assess them, because where they go into the wall, uh, this is mostly where if there came any water down the roof, the water has gone into the part of the rafter that is into the wall. So I'm probably gonna need a hammer. But as you can see, this is the rafter where the camera is standing on. It's pretty sturdy. But I'm probably gonna take a hammer and uh, run them all by here and uh, see if they fit and sound as sturdy as they are. Uh, as I already told you, one on this side, to last. Maybe we should go there. Skinny legs are sometimes an advantage. Who didn't clean up these roof tiles here? That was me. Um, let me show you. So, let me see. As you can see here, this one is like yeah, pretty good anchored in the wall. And this one is like already partially out of the wall. You see a hole here where you see it's uh, 
shift it down because part of the beam is just missing like rotted away you can probably also see it on the outside that's also good for assessing the situation although here you cannot see them on the outside so yeah at least one of them is going to need replacement um, but I have a lot of these rafters from uh, coming from the main house where I now removed uh, all of them so there's a whole shed full of rafters uh, these uh, I don't even know what size this is I didn't even measure the mini rebuild yet like the square the square meters <laughs> Three and a half meters, I guess. Uh, we'll probably have those. Uh, now, what I want to do is, I want to make um, what's this called again in English? Put cladding first on these rafters, so you look to a nice wooden uh, surface on the inside. Uh, this is a little different than we do with the rafters that are new on the main house because all those rafters are exactly on the same height so here you see already sometimes uh, where they filled it out because like for the battens also it was coming too low here and it wasn't reaching the rafter so they filled it out so what I want to do uh, I want to try the same but then with the decking so we're gonna like take off all the parts that are sticking out like here you have small parts that's sticking out you want to take that off uh, and then start with the roof decking uh, on the top not today when we start with the roof uh, and then see where it needs to be filled out and just put little pieces of wood like under underneath between the rafter and the decking and i think that should be fine now, I was a little worried about the cross beam the last time. Let me get you through here. So this is the cross beam where all the rafters are um, like hanging on, like for support in the middle. I think this is going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> um, where the rafts are sported on and it had a bark so I was knocking it like with um, with my hand actually and I heard like very hollow sound so I was really worried and I thought we had to take this all out uh, but it appeared to be only the bark because the thing itself is still very solid so yeah we should be able to uh, keep all those rafters and work from there um, what I also want to assess is the new kind of roof tiles are going to go on here. I want to see how many roof tiles I exactly need in the width and how much in the length. <coughs> and then especially for the width, we can maybe see if we can end on a whole tile. Maybe with a little bit of overhang or something. I have no idea how many tiles I need, so we're going to see about that. Look who's here! Hello. It's the Dwight. Dwight. His name is not Dwight, guys. His name is Duarte. He's Portuguese. Here they don't have Dwights, unless they imported them from another country. <laughs> they do have a lot of Duarts here, though. Not as much as João. So yeah, these uh, battens need to come off, so I'm going to remove them. Uh, then see what we can do about uh, the one defect rafter, if it's only one, because I'm going to check the rest. And after that, I'm going to measure up the tiles and measure up the building and see how many tiles we need and where they end up on the sides of the building. Because as you may remember from the main house, 
here we had to cut the tiles on the end and yeah that's a lot more work to cover up and it doesn't look as nice and the tiles we are going to use for the mini rebuild are these ones also a lot flatter easier to work with and maybe also easier uh, if we need to cut them easier to put on the sides and cement them in uh, if anybody has any more tips on cleaning them that's welcome here is on uh, garden inspection again as usual I don't know what Zoe is doing. So, as I said, we have a lot of rafters, but apparently they're all too short. At least the ones that are not too thick. Hmm. Now we could put in two because we have a middle support. Maybe that's a good idea to do. Maybe I think about that for a minute or two. Maybe we should continue with seeing uh, 
how wide the building is and how many roof tiles we're gonna need for this building. And uh, because yeah, today it's also almost coming to an end again. Well, not the day, but the working day because I still need to make the video for you guys. Does feel good having the yellow, the red against the blue sky again. I think so. Maybe spotted some coffee. So yeah, we need to see about the draft, huh? Because these are all pretty thin beams compared to the ones I have. And yeah, they are longer than the ones I have. Because here they span the whole building and in the house they were separated by two rafters. We'll see what we do about that. Let's find some measuring equipment and measure this building. Let's see what the roof tiles, how they're gonna fit. That's funny, the thing is uh, actually uh, square, 380 by 380. And the roof tiles are uh, 22 wide. And that's minus the overlap, like they cover like per tile, 22 by height 34 centimeters. Now let's do some calculations. Dwight is uh, hammering away in the house. Three meter eighty divided by twenty two, I get to seventeen point two tiles. So that would mean we have zero eight of a tile left. So on either side, I should be able to have an overhang of zero four parts of a tile. So twenty two centimeters, two point two is one part times four. 8.8 .8 centimeters overhang if I still can calculate by head so that would be quite ideal actually in the length they have some play in the tile like two centimeters or so so that should always uh, I should always be able to fit that with a small overhang so I didn't have really much time today to uh, work on the build because this morning I was helping my, my little sister out with um, making the first orders ready for uh, sending out the merch. Uh, if you haven't seen the merch on the website, uh, go to the website. But 
Uh, other merch is also added this week. New merch. Well, new merch. I promised it to you already. Um, to promote the uh, webshop a little and uh, the merch, um, from now when this video is uploaded, the first 10 orders get a nice uh, present with the, um, with the anything you order. Like so with a t-shirt or if you order a hammer, you also get the present or the hat. Uh, yeah, what is the present? Who knows? So first 10 customers get a nice present with uh, with an order. Uh, the Portugalproject.eu and then click the shop thingy. Uh, one other thing guys, before I conclude the video. Uh, do you see the subscribers amount on the channel? Uh, I'm thrilled to say. <laughs> I'm getting emotional again. <laughs> Stop it, don't cry. Uh, guys, we're reaching at the... Jesus. <clears throat> Guys, hi. Hi. Hey. So, we're reaching 10,000 subscribers. Within a year, guys. I think it's really amazing. Uh, uh, the last time I checked, like uh, a couple of hours ago, we needed 20 more subscribers. So, if you all feel generous and you want to get me here to 10,000 today, then please, guys, 20 people, click them. I have a beer with Dwight tonight. Or two. I ah, still need to work tomorrow. Huh? <laughs> we'll have a small party. When we reach the 10,000, guys, I'm going to give away another 10 presents with your uh, order of merch. So if you... I think we'll reach it today. So that'll be the first 20 orders that'll come through. We'll have a... I would say a very cool present. So, go check that out. So, while Duarte is uh, hammering away there, I'm going to do the video for you guys. Um, from a very sunny ghost town. Uh, I wish you all a very pleasant rest of your day. And join us again tomorrow. When we will continue the mini rebuild. And see if we can uh, make up for this lost time a little. <laughs> Dwarf! Uh, Say bye! See you in the next video! Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal Project. If you want to follow the Portugal Project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at The Portugal Project.